I ran into an interesting article today on the uh, paper, and it's about colleges are now giving students an extra $2,000 a year just for incidentals, emergency money. You know, you, you got a fine at the library and they're going <laughs> to kick you out of school or, or you need transportation money or uh, you know, rent or any of these things that keep you in college. And what they find, and this is in New York and a whole bunch of other states are doing it also, uh, is that if they have access to that extra money, you know, they stay in school twice as many people graduate on time. Twice as many. Wow, that's an incredible. So this is a great uh, investment, you know, uh, for students to do this. And it's really in our, our regular life, too. Uh, that we can do this. Uh, and there are programs already in our regular life that do that, but people don't know they're there uh, because they're run by nonprofit organizations that you have to look for. So uh, I've done a video on this before, so I'm going to put this, you know, go bathroom or whatever you have to do, come back and, and finish and watch this report that I did a few days ago that shows you how to find emergency cash in any city, anywhere, anytime but it takes some work on your part. So watch this. Well, we get a lot of members who really need emergency help. So if it's $500 or a couple thousand dollars or whatever, they're, they're in deep trouble and help. Uh, and here's what we tell them to do. You, you really got to go with local. All these programs are mostly local. So they're different everywhere. And you have to find out what you have locally. And it's going to probably take more work than you think. There's no magic button you're going to press. I mean, maybe happen. Maybe I could give you one website and, uh, and it'll work right away for you, the first one you call. But most likely not. So you got to be prepared to get your roll up your sleeves <laughs> and, and, and do some real research. Okay. Well, the way to do that is you, you start with findhelp.org, F-I-N-D-H-E-L-P.org. Okay. And there's two key words uh, you want to look there. Uh, one is for uh, emergency. Okay. Now I put in my zip code and put in the keyword emergency and there's 67 programs for emergency. Okay. And so there, that's your shopping list. You got to go shopping for the help you need. And it's not like pressing one, you, you find them, you know, Hey, this is the, 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 the sweater I want to buy. And it's exactly that. No, you got to go shopping for the right sweater. And so that's why. And then the, the, the other key word you want to use is, is uh, what is, financial assistance. And there's 25 of them. So you got close to a hundred websites, at least in my zip code that you have to call. And, and that's the only way to find out what's there. And if you're not willing to call and you want to make only one website, whatever, no, because there's so much more help if you call. If you don't call, you're, you're probably not going to get anything. And, and, and that doesn't have to happen. You know, uh, you could solve that problem if you get on the phone and start calling. Me. So you call each and every one of these people because even if, okay, veterans financial assistance. So if you're a vet, okay. See, these are all nonprofit organizations. They're all government offices that get grants to help you for free. So they help people like you every day, you know, and that's why you want to see what other people do and learn from them. They're, they're there to help you learn that. And they're the best people. They're better than me because they're helping people in your area with the same problem. That's what you want to do. And you want to know somebody who has authority kind of thing uh, to really help you and point you to that help. And that's it. Sure, you're going to run into assholes and people that don't want to who hang up on you and all that. that, that, that that's life. <laughs> but you have to keep at it. Go through that list, okay, and call and say, hey, I have this problem. Uh, can you help or do you know of somebody else that can help me? Okay. And that's what you want to know. That's how you do it. That's how you get out of the trouble you're in. You don't sit there and hope and pray. <laughs> God doesn't have a credit card. <laughs> you got to do something and find people. We're, we're, you know, the communities are trying to solve problems like yours. So you have to find those people who are trying to solve that problem. Your friends and relatives and everything don't solve those problems. Yeah, so they don't know. You got to get out there and find the people who know. Now, there's another organization called 211.org. 
Uh, and, and that's a little more scattered. It's different in every area. And I don't like that as much as find help. But they're basically the same thing. But they all, you could also call 211. And they'll start with you. But see, if you call 211 and ask for, hey, you know, I can't pay my utility bill. And they say, oh, no, we don't have any. No. Then you go back, say, to find help, put in utility bills and find all the people that help with that and talk to them. See, that's an operator who just knows the database. They don't know the system. They don't work with individuals uh, getting help every day. That's what you want to do. You want to talk to people who are helping people like you all the time. And it may take you a couple hours or a couple days to find the right people. But what the hell? You've probably been in trouble for months <laughs> or even years. So what the hell is a few more days you know, to get out of this? And another great uh, service that's in every um, uh, uh, county is called your careeronestop.org. You put in your zip code there, make an appointment with a counselor because what they want to do is get you to earn income. So you get money in addition to grants, you get money to earn income to get out of trouble, whether it's part time, full time education or whatever. They have lots of training money to help you grab your bootstraps and and pull yourself up out of this. And they also know a lot of these problems. But again, remember, you don't make one phone call. And the magic fairy comes in and puts money in your pocket. No, it's probably going to take work. Please put in the work uh, because you can do it. Uh, it's, you know, look at all the idiots who do solve their problems. <laughs> They're no better than you. <laughs> That's what I used to do when I was uh, getting, working for people. God, that idiot's running this place. I could run a place too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's inspired me more than anything. So get out there, you know, help yourself if you can, but it, it only helps people who help themselves. You got to find them. They don't find you. The people who find you are in Google. <laughs> so you go to Google and you'll find all the people that want to find you because they want to get your money. You know, get out of Google. Don't get into Google. The best place, I think, is to go to one of the AI things like chat GPT or something like that and put in, you know, grants for living or something like that. That'll tell you that the, the answer, the real answers are real people that help you. Google tells you the real people that want to take your money to help you. You don't got money. <laughs> you don't want that kind of help. <laughs> Please go direct to the horse's mouth. And that's what we're trying to do at Let's Go Help. Is just educate people uh, about these services and help that's out there if you're willing to put in some time to, to figure it out. Uh, because it's something you're not used to. So we, you run into one roadblock. And, oh, shit, this is impossible. It's not. <laughs> you said that about the computer and you figured that out. You said that about driving a car and you figured that out. You'll figure this out. Don't worry. And we're here to help you 24 7. Ask us a thousand questions every day. I'm going to be exhausted if you do, but <laughs> in theory, that's what we do. And we have free training, uh, grant training sessions weekly, you know, live. <laughs> and we give out our own grants. We give out our $70,000 every month uh, to help our members. So. Let me help you too.